The Apprentice of the Year competition is of tremendous importance to industry because it's a showcase of our future talent. It's an intense day of competition that draws on all the skills that they've learned throughout their training and it stands them in good stead for the rest of their career. Of course, the day wouldn't be possible without the support of our fantastic sponsors, Construction Training Fund and Murphy Spray and Blast for putting up the major prizes and also Seabus Super have been a long time supporter of the competition. And thanks so much for your support. It means a tremendous amount to the industry and the association and as I said, it wouldn't be possible without that fantastic support. So we're here today with the 12 finalists for our Apprentice of the Year 2024. There's a lot required of these young people here today, a lot expected. They're doing measuring, laying out, drawing up designs, colour matching, tinting, toning colours, preparation, glossing. There's a lot for them to do, they're under a lot of pressure. So we're really proud of them. They're spread from MPA and TAFE and up and down the state great mix of genders and personalities and it's a pretty hectic day today it's really full on so I'm really proud of how the students have done and I'd like to wish them all the very best in the, the judging and the outcomes. I decided to become a painter to follow in my granddad's footsteps and also the work is very enjoyable and it makes you feel good about yourself. I've just hit second year and what I enjoy the most is probably just going to work and being there with the team. Every day is different. I decided to enter this competition because I thought it would be a good challenge and just to put myself out there. I came to the training day which was very helpful and then at home I kept going through the email and making sure I knew what I had to do. The thing I found the hardest would have been drying time and making sure you're always doing something while you're waiting for something else to dry. It's a great career to choose because it's doable. Anyone can do it if they put their head into it and try. I decided to do the competition just to like have a go, show off my skills, see if I got any better than last time. Got a lot less nerves and definitely some better time management. And I think my skills in general are just on a different level than what they were last time I did it. You know, when I did it as a second year was still learning everything. I think there's like a lot filled into the day. Like compared to last time I did it, there's like a few more tasks to do, especially with like the French wash and all that. Definitely the like the roller design on the wall is the most challenging. With all the little measurements and the angles and all that. I think if, if you like the transformative part of it, like turning something really old and dingy into something <laughs> like good, that's obviously the biggest perk of the job. So I work for Precise Painting and well, we do a mix of things, mainly residential, like high-end houses with a bit of commercial or real estate repaints as well. Stephen, a trainer here at MPA, has been telling me about it since I did my pre-app. He just told me it's, it's a good day, good to challenge yourself and do it. I planned out a bit of an order how I wanted to do everything, just to work around drying time and having to get enough coats on everything. Definitely the colour matching. I just haven't had much experience in that. We don't do it very often. I haven't done it at TAFE yet. It's definitely a more satisfying trade. I reckon you get to go in and like, you really see a difference when you leave. Yeah, everything's a lot cleaner, tidier. Coat of paint makes a big difference. I found a job doing painting and I enjoyed doing it a lot. It was really fun. I had a good time doing it, so I've stuck with it and trying to do my best at it. We do residential house painting, just residential houses and it's commercial work and it's easy work, good people, good place, love it. I knew it was coming up and I wanted to get into it. I figured why not, you know, got to push myself. I'll regret it if I don't, so here I am. It's all pretty difficult in its own way. You know, I found that doing all like the lines and the taping and the measurement and all that stuff and the colour matching was probably the hardest part because I've never colour matched before and I'd love it. It'd be, it'd be so good. I don't know what it would mean, but it would be great. Apprentice of the year. Well, originally I just got offered the job from one of my supervisors and I stuck with it because I enjoyed it. The first three months or something I enjoyed it, so I just kept going with it. So my boss is a pretty good guy. It's good that he's got like an up north division. Fly in, fly out from Geraldton, which is what I'm currently doing. So yeah, it's good money up there and he treats us well. I didn't get to do the training day, so I've just come in here blind. 
yeah, it's been pretty good. Get my mind working a bit. The design on the wall, just getting the measurements right and getting everything level and straight and getting the right colours in the right spot. But other than that, it's pretty basic. It's not as easy as it looks. Anyone can be a painter, but you can tell the difference between a proper painter and a, you know, and a regular person painter. I started painting because I found it relaxing and enjoyable. I work with mockery painting. We do a lot of churches, repaints, some fancy houses and refurbishments. Started with a pre-apprenticeship and now I'm second year and I felt confident enough to do the competition. I found the colour matching challenging because it's not something I've ever done before. Not only did I have to colour match, I had to make a lighter shade and a darker shade and it took quite a bit of time. I think I did well in my design accuracy today. Got all my measurements right in the end. I enjoyed today and I'm thinking I might have a go next year. I've always been interested in painting. My grand was an art teacher, so I've always painted since I was little. It just seemed like natural for me to do a trade in painting. I think I do a lot of intricate work every day regardless, so this is pretty normal for me. It's not really anything different. You face challenges in painting every day, so I didn't really feel like I needed to prepare. Having a bit of structure, I think that's important in painting anyway, is you have to have structure, you have to have a plan, and then just let your skills do the work, I guess. Uh, preparation's key. I'm happy to be here in general and participate, put myself out of my comfort zone. I think that's a win anyway. Just being in this environment alone is educational. I'm learning a lot regardless whether I win or, or not. For me, it's a bit exciting because I look forward to learn about more about painting. I know painting is not just about like putting paint in the walls, but it's like more creative, but more also like work kind of combination. It's not just about winning, but it's more on like experience. And I'm more keen on more experience than winning because you can gain more a lot than just rewards. So at first I was a bit nervous because I've never been into this kind of competition. And I'm also just going to my first year. I just finished my pre-app, so I can see many people I'm going around as well. It makes me feel a bit nervous. But I just focus on what I'm doing and yeah, I'm enjoying it. I've done it for a couple of years, left the industry, went off to do other things and the person that I was working for actually asked me to come back. I was wanting a career change and I thought, yep, let's go back into it and I've never looked back. I do a lot of spraying myself, personal preference, I enjoy doing it and I'm good at it. That and doing the higher end work, luxury work, just because it's a bit more of a challenge. My lecturers at Thornley TAFE actually said that I should enter it because they can see that I have potential and I thought, yep, why not, let's do it. So here I am giving it a go. It's enjoyable, it was a little bit stressful at the start, but now we're sort of towards the end of it. It's pretty good, enjoying it. The stencil, penciling out all of the roller frame, just getting all the measurements and everything right, that was probably the most intricate and time consuming. Everything else was well, straightforward, very easy. I started as a brush hand and I just enjoyed painting and I think it's just like, yeah, make all of all of looking things look new again and fresh. For me personally, it's measuring things out just because I'm generally not really quick with numbers and calculating things, but I practice it a lot. So yeah, for me it was more like the measurements and holding the level and a bit of color matching as well. Oh, of course it would be great to win, but I think because I'm already here and doing this competition, that's already a big win for me. If you have a good steady hand and you like to be focused on certain things or in work general and colors, give it a go. I think painting is a good job. I finished school and didn't really have a clear direction of what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to work and I wanted to get a qualification and get paid for it, so that's why I chose painting. The first house I ever worked in, I got to see that from start to finish, which is really cool. It's like a heritage listed house that hadn't been used for 50 odd years. So I got to see like it go from in tatters to a fresh new home, which is really cool. Every time I drive past with someone, I point it out and say that's, that's what I did. Nervous, feel a little bit of pressure, but it's good, like it's still fun. 
struggled with the colour matching, but I just took my time. I'm glad that there was a lot of time left. I left myself enough time to do it. And it's satisfying work because you know you've done a good job because you can see it right in front of you, whereas other trades, it's kind of behind the scenes work, so you don't get to see as much of it. Yeah, the variety of work. There's so much to do in painting. So I've only done residential, but obviously you can work in commercial or industrial. Decided to pursue a career in painting and decorating after helping my uncle out with a bit of work experience quite a few years ago and just realising the transformation from old to new played a big part in that role. I work for Pro Class Painting and Decorating, which is currently a two-man crew. We do a lot of custom homes, a lot of repaints and small to medium commercial stuff. Definitely the dimension and drawing out of the roller frame was a big part for me, which I managed to get a bit of an edge on for practising the last couple of weeks, which gave me the advantage to do other things quicker. The most challenging aspect of this was definitely the colour matching. I haven't done too much colour matching, so it was definitely a test for me to try and get it on point, but I'm happy with my results. My future goal is definitely be to start my own painting business one day. Definitely follow in the footsteps of my employer in terms of quality and workmanship, but my future goal will be to run my own painting business, have my own apprentices, and obviously they compete in today, which is a big thing. Special thanks to our adjudicators on the day, to our judges, and of course to the trainers from MPA Skills and TAFE for their support of all painting apprentices throughout their training stages. And good luck to all the competitors. I can't wait to see who wins.